What is going on guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are going to be talking about who I feel should be learning to trade, who should be investing the time, the capital, the resources into finding good online education sources, or not online, but good education sources from people who are actually doing it, from people who are creating the lifestyles that they show you guys through trading, not through other sources, and then trying to sell you something which they don't actually even do, which is very, very common, unfortunately, in this industry. But I wanna talk a little, bit, a little bit about that as I feel like there's a lot of misconception towards who, what the sort of the general feeling of who trading should be for. First of all, we're in the Italian Dolomites right now at a resort called Le Fay Wellness and Spa Resort. It is absolutely incredible, extremely baller. If you guys ever have the opportunity, definitely come here. It's blown our minds away. I'm sure you guys who have followed me on Instagram have already seen how epic this place is. And I'm also, I have been filming a vlog on my iPhone 11. There's the camera on there is crazy. It's not quite up to this 4K standard. Well, it does record 4K, but it's not quite up to the same standard as this Canon 5D Mark IV. But trying to hold a Canon like that for two minutes while you're speaking, that's a story I don't want to get into right now. But that's also coming out, so you may get to see there. But that's neither here nor there. So what I really want to talk about is I feel like social media has really ruined trading, day trading, swing trading, investing as an industry. And the problem is so many people have these misconceptions about how easy it is to learn the skill and develop a skill of actually being able to pull consistent profits out of the markets from trading, whatever your style is. And it has this massive stigma attached to it that everyone's fake because there's a lot of fraudulent shit that goes on, unfortunately, in this industry. It has a sort of reputation that it's extremely easy, that you can travel the world and all you need is a laptop in order to be making these decent amounts of profit. Um, I feel like people see it as a get rich scheme. So when you think about who the sort of target audience for what social media markets to on, uh, in terms of a trading world, who are they marketing to? They're looking for people who are in desperate situations. They're looking for people who are looking to get rich quick, they're looking to leave their nine to fives, they have this massive fixation on going around the world with a fucking laptop and making all their money doing 30 minutes of work on the charts in the morning so they can live their life the rest of the day. We're gonna start with <laughs> just some solid truths of bringing everyone down, okay? Trading is the most difficult skill set I've ever had to learn in my life. The things that I do even to this day which I had no idea when I got into this trading journey. I had no idea I'd be doing meditation. I had no idea I'd be making sure that I'm eating clean. I had no idea I'd be making sure that I'm exercising every day so that my mindset, my head is clear, it's operating at peak performance. I had no idea I'd be having these morning routines, these night routines where I'm making sure I'm doing things at a certain time, even to the points of journaling, drinking chamomile teas at night to make sure I'm going to bed. I've got this ring called an aura ring, which tracks my sleeping to make sure that my sleeping allows me to perform at my peak performance in terms of physically and mentally. But all of these little things that you don't understand when you're getting into this world, you need to do in order to keep on top of the stress of day trading and swing trading every day. It's not fucking easy, guys. It is not easy. It's not a get rich quick scheme. What it is is, if you don't put the effort into it, if you don't put the time, if you don't have the self-control, it's gonna be a get broke quick scheme. That's what it's gonna be. In terms of getting rich quick, it's not a quick process. It compounds extremely fast once you've digested all of the knowledge, once you have started to figure it out for yourself, when you know self-discipline, you know patience, and you know how to execute strategies which are effective and actually pull consistent profits from the market. Once you have that, and you can just put capital in, Yes, it compounds extremely fast. So at that point it does become, it, you can find riches very quickly, but you have to have the capital to implement and you always, already have to have all of the skill sets defined within yourself, within your character. You need to be patient, you need to have self-discipline. 
you need to hold yourself self accountable. And all of these things take much longer to learn than just the basics of trading in terms of when we look at a chart, I could teach someone through chart work, I could teach someone how to trade the strategies that I trade, how to read the markets the way that I read it in, in, in around a six month period, I reckon. I genuinely believe I could do that. And one day we may do that, that could be an interesting experiment. However, developing the psychology, the mindset, to, to allow yourself to constantly make the right decision, constantly not make bad decisions, and to keep yourself in check as you go through this journey, making sure you stay humble, making sure you don't allow it to all get to your head and think you're some absolute rock star who runs the markets, because that's not the truth. The markets are there for us to take advantage of the opportunities they present. They're not there for us to battle to be right or wrong. The markets will always win if that's your mindset, if your ego is involved. So I just wanted to come on here really and say to you guys, trading isn't just for people who are looking to quit their nine to five. It's not just for people who are looking to travel the world. Yes, it's possible, okay? It's possible. The benefit of trading is once you've figured it out, once, you are, once you've spent the years absorbing knowledge and you're starting to implement it, you can start traveling more. You can use a laptop and go around and make your money. It's gonna take you more than half an hour a day, which is the sort of picture that the, all these airy fairy fucks seem to paint on Instagram, etc. trying to sell you this bullshit. You're gonna to have to put more than that into it. But at the initial stages, if you're trying to learn this whilst you're traveling, you're gonna find it very hard unless you're really dedicating that time, those three, four hours a day at those beginning of the stages, in order to learn the skill set. So yes, once you've figured it out, once you have learned self, self discipline, you know how to keep yourself on track, you know that you will hold yourself self accountable to being on those charts, looking at it in the morning, doing your nightly analysis, yes, it's a great thing. You can go traveling, you can have your laptop, you can make your money just from that. But the initial stages, it's fucking hard. So selling the dream to these poor people who think that that's what happens straight away, two weeks into picking up this skill, into learning this skill, two weeks into going traveling, they think they can be making money from just looking at charts for half an hour a day, you're gonna fail extremely quickly. Another one is uh, the stigma around, it's only for people who want to quit their nine to five. This isn't true, this isn't true. This is not true for my situation. My situation, for those of you who don't know, I am a co-owner of a financial advising business, a wealth management business. We've got between 140 to 150 million of assets under management. We look after around 120 high net worth individuals. So it's a very lean, it's a very lean lifestyle business, okay? It grows as much as you wanna grow it. And we've always chosen to grow by organic growth. So we have avoided marketing, we've avoided the hard sell, because we only wanna be working with people who already have a relationship built with us because maybe they have a connection and their connections have, have spoken to them and said, these are the sort of people you guys need to look into if this is what interests you. And then th those connections are already built. So it's never been a hard sell. It's very, very much been, if you wanna work with us, that's great, this is what we do. If you don't, we, we have no qualms, we're good. We've got a great business, it's lean, and we make a good amount of profit. So I was earning well into the six figures when I wasn't looking to leave the business. I wasn't looking for something different. I've not, I don't really have much interest in going traveling with backpacks and doing all that Thailand and Australia stuff. I mean, when I go to places, I wanna to come to places like this, which are luxurious, where I get to live that good life. That's what interests me. And I'd rather do it less frequently and, and much better places than be walking around with a backpack going to different places. That's just my style and I know everyone's different. But the reason why I'm saying that is I was in a situation where actually I already earned good money. I earned more than most people around me. But there was still something within me that wasn't happy with this lifestyle that was kind of being created for me, okay? So I, each year I'd get a nicer car, I'd get a nicer watch, um, my mortgage would increase and the house that, I'm, that, I, that I own I'm paying more towards the mortgage, I'm getting my debts down is in the mortgage, I'm increasing my investments, I'm putting my money into the right tax-free environment spaces, following the rules, following the book, 
but who's writing the book? Who's writing that script? And it didn't feel like it was the life that I actually wanted to create for myself. It felt like actually all I was doing was looking around everyone around me and going, okay, I just wanna make sure that I keep, keep doing better than everyone else, which is very egotistical. But I feel like it's a trap that a lot of people get stuck in. And my sort of point with this is, whether you're a business owner, whether you, or you own a part of a business like I did, whether you have a great job, big salary, if you are making decent amounts of money as I was, if you're pulling out decent profits and you're building these pools of capital, and you're looking where to invest them and you have your equity portfolios which are doing three to four, five percent, max 10 percent a year and that's deemed as very, very good. Um, you have all your other different things, you've got your bonds giving you interest rates of 1.5 to 2.5 to 3 percent a year and everything's just very, very slowly building and I just got to a point where I wanted to find something and I was ready to commit everything that I had into learning a skill which could turbocharge the growth of my wealth, the growth of the capital that I already had. Okay, so I came in it to, with a lucky position of I already had the capital pool. I already had that ready to implement. I just needed to learn the skill. I had the desire, I had the fire in my stomach, which is something which I feel like there's a lot of people who don't, a lot of people who are doing better than their peers around them, they're earning good money, they're living a good life, they lose that fire, they get comfortable with the position they're in. That wasn't the case for me, I wanted this, I wanted more. I wanted more, I wanted to grow my wealth, I wanted to build a legacy. And I just wanna come on here and really appeal to all of the people who are doing really well in life. And if you commit yourself to learning a skill like trading, there is no limit to where you can take it, okay? And that's what gets me so fucking excited. That's why I'm always plugging Masterclass. Some guy on Instagram was like, you're always, always talking about Masterclass. Yes, it's because it's something that I put my heart and soul into some, it's something that I put my heart and soul in because I know it can change people's lives. The, the knowledge which we're giving out has changed my life. It's changed the Rex's life. It's changed our students' lives, which we've had with us for the last year to 18 months. This isn't some sort of bullshit Telegram group or WhatsApp group where we're saying, follow our trades, do this, do that, because that's, that's, that is a means to an end. No one's gonna stay around doing that forever. Yes, you can be giving good blah, 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 making people money, but you're not gonna do it forever, and then those people are fucked. We offer real education, real online education, a real program. This isn't fluffy courses giving you the basics which you could literally log on to Google and you could find within an hour, okay? This is real education that's taken years of development, that has real data backed up behind it, that we have real, study cases like myself, like the team members, Chris, Sam, Pat, Jacob, all of us, all of us have changed our lives from learning this knowledge. So why the fuck would I not share this to all the people I can because I know it can change their lives if they apply themselves, if they learn the skill sets that I have developed over the last five years. And I just wanna to appeal to those people who are doing well in life, who are comfortable, who think that they've got it all figured out. There is so much more possibility that's out there for you. You just have to commit yourself. And the problem which I see in the world nowadays is we are overexposed to knowledge. We're overexposed to opportunity. There is too much for us to focus on our small, our small little brains and the small percentage of our brains that we do use. There's too much on offer. There's too much for us to be trying to contemplate at once. For example, there's all these different opportunities, there's trading, there's Amazon FBA, there's drop shipping, there's all these other things, there's SMMA, social media marketing, agencies, all this stuff, there's so much opportunity that it makes people freeze and stop from just committing to one. You need to stop dicking around, you need to stop looking into all these different routes and just commit to one. People always say, you're so lucky you found your passion in trading. I'm not passionate about trading, I'm passionate in, in the lifestyle that I can create using the knowledge which I have built behind this trading skill set, using that to 
grow my pots, to grow my wealth, putting that wealth, that, that capital which I'm earning from trading into different areas, creating real substance. And there's just so much endless opportunity when it comes to trading because there's no cap to it. There's no cap to where you can take it. Whether it's your own capital, whether you go work for a hedge fund, there's no cap to it. So I really just want to appeal to, yes, the people who want to quit to their nine to fives, this is a way to do it, but be patient. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of work. It's not fucking easy, but you can do it. The people who want to go traveling, yes, again, it's possible, it's doable, but at the beginning, focus on learning the skill set and then move on to the traveling later once you actually have the knowledge, once you have the skill sets developed and you just need to implement your capital, then it can work. For the people who are building businesses, who have profit, who are maybe a little bit comfortable in their lives, okay? You earn good money, you have all this money in different places and you're not happy with the returns that you're getting on it. Please, please, please open your eyes to the opportunity of what trading can bring in because it can bring so much abundance, unlimited abundance. It's just you have to commit yourself at the beginning. And if you have the capital to implement once you've learned the skill set, once you've learned the knowledge, fuck me, you're going to be unstoppable. So that kind of wraps it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bit of a different one, bit of a rant. Um, that was all one take off of the top of the head. It wasn't scripted, it wasn't planned, it wasn't anything. It's just something that I've noticed recently and that's what I try to do in my YouTube videos. I try to be very honest. I try to, sometimes I get passionate about things because I have such, I have such a strong belief because it's happened to me. It's it's why I live the life I do because of the skill of trading. It's why I managed to pick up a Batek last month after I just had my biggest month. Managed to finally pick up the, uh, not the Batek I wanted. I want a 5711, but that's about double the price of this Aquanaut. We're gonna stay with the Aquanaut for first, but I managed to pick up my first Batek and that wouldn't be possible if I wasn't, if I hadn't gone down the journey of trading. And this is just a scratch, guys. I'm not a materialistic person. I like to spend my money on going to nice places like this. That's what I like to do with my money. But sometimes you have to treat yourself with little gifts like this um, when you've been putting that fucking work in. The five, last five years has been hard, but my life now is in a place where it's fun. It, I am so in control of where I'm going, where I'm heading in my destiny, and I want other people to empower themselves like that. So hope you enjoy, enjoyed that video, guys and girls, and I'll catch you all up on the next one. Peace out. Take care. Legacy, Phantom.